Hello guys, so today I'm going to read you the description of soft gamine body type from the Kibis book Metamorphosis of the 80s. Note, the following information should be taken as a broad outline of what makes a soft gamine. It is the overall balance of a combination of opposites and extra yin on the yin-yang scale. Very rounded body type and features on a delicately angular frame along with a playful and spirited essence. That creates this image identity category. Therefore, slight deviation here or there is always possible and should not be worried over if it does not upset your yin-yang balance. Height, normally under 5 feet 5 inches, usually very petite. Bone structure, delicate and small, yet slightly broad and angular. Angular edges, particularly through the shoulders, square or tapered. Small hands and feet, may be slightly white or fleshy. Delicately broad facial contours, nose, cheekbones and jawline, which may have extra bits of angularity. Arms and legs tend to be shortish in proportion to height. Body type. Soft, curvy body tends towards flashiness. Curved bust line and hips with some natural waist definition. Arms and legs tend to be soft and fleshy, particularly through the hip and thigh areas. Facial features. Doll-like facial features. Saucer eyes, round and fleshy cheeks, full lips. Facial shape may be very rounded and it can have a slightly sharp or slightly strong jawline. Hair. Any type is possible, but... Texture is usually soft, silky if fine, and wispy if thick and curly wavy. If overweight, body tends to get very rounded as the weight collects mainly in the bust and hips areas. Arms and thighs may get very soft and face tends to become quite fleshy. It is a common for soft gamines to feel overweight even when they aren't because of the extreme round shape of the body paired with the short limbs. A soft gamine will normally not be tall, have a real thin or extremely straight body type, have a larger broad bone structure, have large hands and feet or exotic facial characteristics, be symmetrical in body type, bone structure or facial features, have sharp bone structure. Now let's talk about basic recommendations for soft gamines. Shape. Crisp curves with sharp edges. Rounded shapes that are smoothly formed including bouffants. Ovals circles, elliptical shapes, chunky swirls, teardrops, crisp clusters. You might not look as good in sharp geometrics, in small symmetrical shapes, in overly intricate delicate shapes, in oversized bulky or chunky geometrics. Line and silhouette, animated staccato silhouette, broken curved lines, sharply tapered outline, especially at waist collar cuffs, small buffant lines with crisp edges, small draped lines with tapered edges. You might not look as good in geometric silhouettes, in wide unconstructed silhouettes, in soft and flowing silhouettes, in symmetrical silhouettes, in all elongated lines, in all strong horizontal lines, in all smooth lines, in severe straight lines. Detail. Detail should always be animated, lively, and energetic. An access of detail, particularly in the area of trim, is one of the important ways you express vivacity in your appearance. Shoulders should be crisp. Shoulder gathers, tucks, and shearing are excellent, as is any intricate trim or applique in this area. Necklines should be clean and crisp, preferably curved. They are best when they are either high or closed, all the lower scoops and plunges are acceptable. Crisp collars are excellent and should be used profusely. They should be small and very tailored or shaped with contrasting fabric, trim, collar, and so on. The perfect choice. Curved or rounded shapes are best. Small sharp pleats, ornate trim, applique, top stitching, epaulets, pocket plackets, and so on are all good touches for the bodice area. Crisp cuffs with contrasting buttons, bands, trim, and so on are always chic. Waist should always be sharply defined with waistbands, contrasting trim, applique, and so on. A tapered and cinched waist is a mainstay of your look. Gathers at the waist are excellent if they are small and crisp, as opposed to deep and soft. The hemline should be tapered at the knee area. If it is long, it will then flare out gently. If it's short, it will be tulip-shaped. Contrasting trim at the hemline is excellent. Contrasting and colorful trim is everywhere. You might not look as good in minimal detail, in elongated detail, in sharply geometric detail, 
in wide, unconstructed detail, in overly antique detail. All right, that's it for today. Subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more thorough recommendations for the whole wardrobe of soft gamins. Thank you. Bye.